making this difficult for me and I don't want to be breaking my nails and stuff like what's up you guys Maki here so today we're gonna be doing like this beginners eyeshadow video um this is a long overdue video i've been wanting to do one of these for a long time if you are a beginner and you just want to learn how to put on eyeshadow you know i'm like let me do one <laughs> so if you guys are interested get you some palettes get you some brushes let's sit down and let's learn how to put on eyeshadow together so if you guys are interested let's jump right in okay you guys so now I have you guys zoomed in so you guys can get a front close look of the eyes so if you guys notice I do not have anything else on my face I like to prime and then like to go right into my eyes um, first because that's just the step that I like to do first it takes the longest and I like to concentrate on this particular area first now you can also put your foundation and things on and then come back to your eyes you can do whatever you want but I just like to go with, into my eyes first and clean my eyebrows and then my eyes. I have clean a clean face and clean eyes, so I have my eyebrows done. Now that I have all that explained, I'm going to talk to you guys about the brushes you can use. These are the brushes that I'm using today in the particular styles. I um, hope you guys can see them. Zoom in a little bit more. Um, these are the brushes that I'm using today. These are six brushes. These are two, three dome brushes. And these are three eyeshadow brushes, like blending brushes. And these are the styles of brushes that I like to use to blend, apply my eyeshadow, blend them out, apply them, add them on. This is what I like to use. And I'm going to show you in the order of these. These brushes are from BH Cosmetics, um, Wet n Wild, um, from eBay, Amazon brushes. So you can use any brush that you have, but these are the styles you typ typically want to go for. This is a smaller dome brush. This is a kind of medium, regular size dome brush. This is a denser, flatter one. And this is a denser eyeshadow brush. This is a more, um, this is a fluffier, fluffier from this one, a fluffy eyeshadow brush. And this is way fluffier. So I like to have variation of these styles of brushes. Somebody just needs to sell a kit with nothing but eyeshadow brushes. like. Plenty just have a set just like this in a kit. I don't. I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna see if I can find some, and I'm gonna link them down below. We gonna see. But somebody, somebody need to have a kit with just these these brushes in there. They need two of each too. But anyway, and you also can use your fingers to blend out your base, and you can use your sponge or a brush. Another brush you also can use. You can use a flat precision brush. This one has already been used. You can use that to apply your base to your eyes um, and blend it out. Use your fingers. You can use, I'm actually going to add that in my brush kit too. <laughs> and you can use that and this, you can use your sponge as well. So it all depends on what you want and what you're comfortable using. But I'm just going to use what I'm showing you guys today. Now that I have that, I like to go into my base. I like to use concealer. You can use a eyeshadow primer. You can use um, any product that's out there that's specifically for a base. And the base is just your canvas. Your eyes is your canvas and your your base is just like a gesso that's on your paint, on your palette or whatever. I mean on your, I guess, what do I want to say? On your canvas. <laughs> and this just helps with the pigmentations of the shadows and helps with the blend, the blendability. It just adds, help adds that vibrancy to your shadows if they aren't already there. So. The base that I like to use, I like to use concealer. You use anything that's out here on the market. So many eyeshadow primer base out here. You use what you want, but I'm using concealer. And the concealer that I'm using today is going to be from Maybelline. I probably use use a mixture. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is in the shade uh, Honey. And I might go in with. Mm, I'm going with a lighter concealer, and this is from. LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm probably going to mix the two together. What I like to do is add a nice amount of product on the lid. And 
I'm gonna go in actually with this brush here and I'm going to blend out the base and I want to blend it up into the eyebrow as well so to blend that concealer that I applied earlier from the eyebrows I just like to blend everybody together and give me a nice smooth base And I like to bring it into this area as well. And blend it up. And blend it out. I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with my other concealer and just apply that on the top of that. Okay, now that I have that applied, if you are brave you and you are a little bit efficient in applying your shadow, you can just go right in and add your eyeshadow. But if you're not a beginner, we're going to go right in and just set it. I, I used to do this in the beginning, but I don't like, I like eyeshadow and I like my colors to be popping, popping. So I don't usually set, but I'm going to go ahead and set these into place and you also want to set it if you don't want it to crease. I'm gonna go into my sponge and some powder and my powder I'm using today is from Sasha, Sasha Buttercup and take my sponge and I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna set that whole area there. You can use any powder that you have. You can use a translucent one. It doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna set that into place. And we have us a smooth, a beautiful canvas. You guys can see that. And for our shadows today, I'm gonna be using Makeup Revolutions, and this is their Reloaded Bubby Rose palette. And you see all these beautiful colors that are in here. I think it's gonna be a really good palette for today. So I just have to open it and get it open. I can't stand when packaging is just like hard to open. Like, girl, stop making this difficult for me. And I don't want to be breaking my nails and stuff. Like, mm -mm. and today I'm using more of a neutral color because I feel like it's easy for you guys to follow along. It's really one of the easier color palettes you guys can follow along. Usually, easier color palettes you can look at and determine like oh, okay this color is that that and that and that so i'm going to be using about five shades out of this palette most use three most use two it just depends it just depends but i feel like five i'm going to try to use five shades today to get the look that i'm looking for so the first thing the first color i'm going to go into is the crease color and you usually want to start there because that is the bridge between your lid and going to the eyebrow and just in that area just adds dimension to the eye so you want to start there first and get the color impacted on there so i'm gonna go in with this brush here this is the denser blending brush and i'm gonna go into let's see which color do i want to be my transition for today i'm gonna use this shade here as my crease today I'm sorry for in the crease and I would like to do is dip the brush into there just like that hope you guys saw that and just like to dip it in there make sure the color is on the brush and what you do to determine the crease you want to put that color right into the crease right in that socket that is your crease okay and what I like to do is put that pat that color into the crease just pat it into there Okay, and I like to bring that in 
and I want to concentrate this color. Okay. And the way you hold the brush affects the application of the color as well. And you kind of want to hold it out here just like that. And you want to, you know, pat the color on. And sometimes you can, you know, get right on there if you want to. It just depends. But usually when you blend it out, bring it down here, pack it on, bring it up here. Okay. And guys, you don't have to do this in any specific order, but I like to apply the crease color again because the crease color just, you know, sometimes it's the deciding factor of what the look's gonna look like, you know? So I'm just gonna concentrate that color here. When I get that color applied, it usually looks like this. So let me go into this other eye. And what I like to do is create a dome shape. I'm going out somewhere. Okay, now that I have that applied, I'm gonna go now into my bone color. This is the color you usually see in diagrams. You see, you have it highlighted here, crease, the lid, and the outer V. I like to go into the bone area next. And for that shade, I'm going to take, ooh, I'm scratching the palette. I'm gonna take this shade here. And I'm gonna take this flat dome brush here. I'm gonna go in, pack that color on, just pack it on like that. And I like to pull it off sometimes. And I wanna pat that shade there. And I like to bring it over under there just like that and I like to bring it down and bring it over so now we want to add our transitional color and our transitional color goes usually in between here, between the crease and our bone. And I'm going to use this shade here. And I'm gonna take this brush here. And I'm just gonna take that above the excess. And I'm gonna concentrate this color here to blend the crease, to blend out the harsh lines between our crease. And I'm just gonna blend that out. And the reason why I applied the bone shade mix to help blend in our transition and our crease color together, just to help with the blending. And just add a nice gradient from light to darkest. And I like to take the transitional shade and like bring it up into the beginning of the brow and just to blend out the harsh lines, okay? And I like to bring it all the way out and work my way in. And brush it up as well. And you wanna do windshield wiping motions and certain times circular motions. It just depends on the concentration that you want. And so I wanna blend out the harshness of the edge.
And you also can go back with your crease brush that you add a crease, add a little bit more color in there. Just add a little bit more, don't apply any more product. Just add a little bit more color in there if you lost any. And I like to just go back and forth between brushes to get the blend right. And the whole key to eyeshadow and brushes is the blending. That is the biggest part of the eyeshadow is blending. You want the colors to be blended. You want the colors to seem seamless and airbrushed. Like you just want to take your time. And this the part is you just, this is the artistic part of the whole process. The color and the application of it. And the techniques. If you have the right technique, you can create any look that you want. Smoke it out. Keep it defined. But define certain areas. It's just all just depends on the technique. Okay. And what I like to do is just look at the look that I'm going for because I want each eye to look the same. I usually mess up on this part myself. I'm not perfect. But I just like to go back and look at certain areas that probably need to blend out a little bit more. I think I need a little more, more work on this side. And that just helps smoke out that crease color. And when I'm satisfied with that, I'm going to go into our outer crease color and I'm gonna take this shade here and I'm gonna take another dense brush this is a, another brush from um, another dense eyeshadow brush and I'm going to add hmm what shade I want in the crease let's do this one I mean the outer B let's do this one I'm gonna take this shade here I'm gonna take the same approach Step about the excess and the key is to focus the shade out here look at that that is freaking pretty and you want to focus this color here in the crease and you want to blend this color in as well look at that and what I like to do is pack on the color pack it on that is so so pretty so pretty. I didn't even think it was gonna be this dark like I didn't even think that but okay. working with that is so pretty and all I like to do is kind of look at my pupil and kind of leave it where the pupil is the outer pupil I'll be using my terminology correctly <laughs> and I actually want to focus that color right in there the outer V and I want to blend that out just really concentrating on blending that into the crease right there and don't apply anything else to the brush just really concentrate the color there really focus on blowing it out when I have that applied I'm gonna go in with a fluffier brush and I just want to blend 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 these colors together just blend all the harsh lines in And sometimes I like to go back in with my crease color to tone that down just a hair. If I don't like it too harsh, I like to tone it back down with my crease color. Just tone it down just a hair. Add a little bit more product. Just to tone it down just a hair. And I go back in with my blending brush. This brush here, more fluffier blending brush and just blend everybody together the windshield wiping motions blend back and forth and I like to go between each eye if I'm doing each eye at the same time and that also depends on the look that I'm going for for that day And I like to just go back in between my brushes and just blend. I go back in with that brush and I apply my transitional color. Blending some more into that. So 
all about the blend, you guys. Just all about the blend. So next I'm gonna go into the lid color and your lid, pretty much you want the most of the light to hit there. For some obvious reason, that's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with this shade here. And we are going to apply this to the lid. And I'm just gonna take this shade here and angle my camera a little bit more, I'm in my mirror. And I'm just gonna apply this shade into the lid. And you wanna pet. Usually when you apply your lid shape, you want this color to be patted on. That's how you get most of the pigmentation, is by patting it on. And I actually want to wet my brush. This is a matte shade. Matte shimmer. It's like a satin finish. Oh. And to make the lid be more permanent, like pigmented, you also can add concealer and like cut the crease. But, um, you know, we just want to pat this shade on. And to blend in the outer V with your lid color, you want to go back into your color that you applied the lid and just lightly go over that. Those two sections, those two colors meet, you just blend them together. And sometimes I like to take another shade and kind of blend that in between it sometimes. It just depends. Add another color there and just blend the edges and blend it together. See, that is so pretty. Just blend it out so it looks so harsh and add a little bit more color there. And for the lid, I just decided to add a little bit more color there because I feel like it's too white. I just go back in with my bone color and I just mixed it together. Just to tone it down just to here and give me a little bit more color between there. And just blend everybody together. And I like to go back in with our fluffy brush again and just a blend. Blend, blend, blend. And to help with the, to get the right shape of the lid, you want to look up and help, it helps you get the shape that you need as well. Because your eyes is relaxed and you're not creasing them all the time, this just helps. And this helps with the crease as well, to get the crease shape. And I'm just going to add in two more brushes. These are smudger brushes and these are very good for applying under the eye for packing on your color and your um, water, I said water line, your bottom lash line. I usually like to get an impact of the color. I like to take a little bit more concealer and I'm actually going to use this brush. I can find it, this flat brush. I like to take a flat brush that I used um, when I did my eyebrows. I like to add the excess concealer that's on there. Matter of fact, no. Um, you don't have to do this, but I just like the impact of the color, the intensity of the color. I'm going to add a little bit more concealer. So I just want to pat that color on. And 
I like to go into my um, color that I applied into the crease and I like to take that not the crease I like to take my outer V color and pat that color on first just to add some depth and some smokiness there you don't have to but I'm just gonna pat that color on okay That is a very deep color. <laughs> I'm gonna go into that eyeshadow that, I'm gonna take another smudge brush and go in with our crease color. And I'm just gonna blend that out. And just smudge that out. Concentrate on blending out the harsh lines. I actually want to blend out that darker color a little bit more. Just want to blend it out and bring that color up. Blend it. Okay. Now for a little bit more highlight on the eyes. You guys can do an inner corner highlight. You do not have to do this though, but it's something about adding that inner corner highlight to just that enhances the eyes, it wakes the eyes, it opens the eyes a little bit more. So I'm actually just gonna go in with this shade here. And I'm just gonna apply that into the inner corner. Pat that color into there. You see what that just did to the look? You see that? And I like to bring it a little bit down at the bottom here. You guys can see that. Just add the wrong color, you guys. I'm so slow. Just enhance that just a little bit. Nothing too bright, too crazy. You can go as bright as you want. You can do what you want, girl, but. I just want that there. Then I like to go in with a liner and I'm just using a brown liner today. Like I said, I want something neutral. I want this to be a thin wing liner. And for my waterline, I'm just gonna go in with a brown eyeliner. And this eyeliner is from BH Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna add, you can add your um, liner, your waterline before you smudge out your bottom lash line, but. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add some lashes. I'm gonna put these on and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, you guys, I have the lashes applied now. And if you guys want me to post like a, I guess, lash video on how to apply lashes, you guys let me know. I still struggle with them on, but I have a technique on how I apply them and what I do to my lashes. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know. Um, so yeah, we're done with that. And I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'm going to come right back so we can wrap all this up. So you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys was able to follow along. I hope that I broke everything down right for you guys because I've been wanting to do this for a while. I just didn't know how I was gonna be able to do it. <laughs> if my explanation was gonna be good enough, but it don't matter. And I hope you guys would just follow along if I didn't explain well visually. You know, we did the job as well. And you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching it always to the end. 
And you guys, so make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and you guys make sure you click the bell so you are notified every time I post. And you guys remember to love, embrace, celebrate who you are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.